Well, I'm coming to you today from my office at NKS and I wanted to share something today which I think is really important because it comes up so often in the people that I see. Um, this is just a real area of difficulty and that is why it's so hard for people to say no. If you think about it, it's really interesting because a two-year-old can say no. In fact, they'll say no to anybody and everybody and they have no problem doing it. They say it with total confidence. Yet adults struggle, or a lot of adults anyway, struggle with saying no to people on a daily basis. So what happens is when they really want to say no to something, they end up saying yes, and whether it's to help someone move or whether it's to work overtime or to meet someone when they don't really feel like it, and then they end up feeling really resentful for it because they said yes to something, but what they really wanted to say was no. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about why it's so hard to say no, but also why it is so important to say no. So let's start with that. There's a reason two-year-olds can say no so easily, and that's because it's completely normal, healthy part of our development to say no to people. Because what we're doing when we say no is establishing limits and boundaries. And every single relationship that we have, every healthy one, needs a set of boundaries in order for it to actually be a relationship of quality. And let me define what boundaries are. Boundaries don't mean that you say no to everything or that you don't exercise compassion and caring and consideration. But boundaries are there so that you can teach people how to treat you. And what I mean by that is setting healthy boundaries by saying no to the things we genuinely don't believe to be in our self-interest or that we don't want to do is very important for not only taking care of ourselves and showing other people that we value ourselves, but making sure that we convey the limits of our boundaries to those people around us, spouses, friends, coworkers, what have you. They all need to understand this because what you're doing when you establish limits and boundaries by saying no, is you're letting people know what kind of treatment you will accept and what kind of treatment you won't accept. You're also letting them know what kinds of things you are acceptable to you and what the kinds of things aren't acceptable to you. And when you define what isn't acceptable to you, you are creating your position of value, value of yourself. Now, unfortunately, the reason that so many adults struggle to say no is because what happens uh, from the early ages to adulthood is we are taught and trained or socialized to say yes. Saying yes equals being nice, equals being good. And saying yes to some things when we do it consciously and by choice and without feeling any resentment because we really want to say yes to something is perfectly great. It helps relationships, it helps us. But saying no, saying yes when we really want to say no because we've been trained or made to believe that saying no is rude or bad manners is where all the trouble begins. So there's two main reasons why I think people find it so hard to say no. The first one is guilt. People feel guilty. What they say is, if they say no to someone, let's say it's a coworker who's asking to help out or shoulder some of their work because they're, they're tight and you really don't want to take it on and you fear saying no, you say yes because you don't want to say no, you'll feel guilty by saying no. What the guilt comes from is this thought process that says where one is saying to themselves that they should be saying yes. Again, that goes back to the training and the socializing that we get from the society and the messages around us. And the other thing that I think people struggle with is they can't separate people's disappointment from not getting what they want if you say no to them from being disappointed in them. So let me explain. If somebody asks you for something and you happen to say no, it's natural that they're gonna feel disappointment. Why? Because when human beings want something, and this is true for all of us, if we want something in life and we don't get it, the natural inclination, we're just psychologically uh, going to feel uh, disappointed. It's just, it's being human. But just because you're disappointed that you didn't get what you wanted doesn't necessarily mean that the person is disappointed in you. And that's where people trip up. So people just assume responsibility for the disappointment and think to themselves, well, if I say no, they're going to be disappointed in me. As opposed to saying to themselves, I can say no, and yes, the person might be disappointed that I said no, but they're going to be disappointed that they didn't get what they want. They're not going to be disappointed at me or because I said no, which sort of implies that a person doesn't have the right to say no. Now, the second reason that I think people have trouble saying no is because they feel that they won't be liked by other people. 
Now this is a reality because most of the time I think people understand that if they ask a, a, make a request of someone, it's possible that someone will say no to them. Sometimes somebody may actually be disappointed in you. And that is kind of sucky, but it does happen. And I think we as a society, we're trained to feel very une uneasy at the idea of people not liking us. So another reason that we don't say no to people when we, when we would like to is because we are afraid of not being liked. And it's so important to us to be liked, not just by one person, by everybody. That second point is really important, so I'm actually going to save it for our next video. And I just hope that this will start you thinking uh, with this video. Start thinking about, you know, how often you say yes to people when what you really want to say is no. And what's going on in your mind which causes you to feel a certain way because you say yes instead of no. Okay, so chew on that for a while. I'll be back with the next video which is going to talk about, in which I'm going to talk about why it's so important to us for people to like us and why we struggle so much at the idea of people not liking us that'll cause us to do things that we don't want to do. I'm Natasha, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!